In the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tariq Masood. Thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support to make this channel a grand success. We are a partner. Please subscribe and share our channel if you haven't done so far. We as a team can work together to convert our challenges into opportunities and opportunity into success stories. These success stories can be monetized into value additions. Thank you very much again. Okay, today I am going to discuss my lecture number two on Six Sigma Lean Management Model. So, how we can define, measure, analyze, improve, and control mechanisms. So, before my lecture, I used to read a chronic verse: "Rabbi Shrali Sadli Woyas Sarli Amri Wahlal Ogdatam Millisani Yak for Koli Rabbi Zitni Ilma." Okay, now I am going to run a complete trail on introduction. After introduction, we will discuss define phase. Then measure, analyze, improve, and control phase. It will take uh, three to four months again. Okay, Six Sigma Lean Thinking Visual Management define, measure, analyze, improve, implement, and control. Okay, we are still on introduction mode. This is my lecture number two on introductions. So on my next slide, we are going to demonstrate a key takeaway points. my introduction lecture number 2 okay key takeaway points lecture number 2 six sigma methods we will discuss then we will discuss six sigma principle what the principle lean and demac what is a lean and demac define measure analyze implement and control so then we will discuss about the lean history Okay, DMAC provides a method for applying the Six Sigma philosophy in order to improve a process. What is basically the first is define. So, what is define basically? So, the business opportunities. Second, a measure. What supposed to be the measure? The process, a current state. Number uh, three, analyze. So, what is not determine a root causes or why a functions which we'll discuss as uh, soon. And a uh, number four here, improve. So what is basically improve or implement, eliminate waste and variations, and number fifth, a control mechanism. What is control? Evidence of sustained results. So that a five segment we will discuss next couple of months. Sigma methodology. What is basically six sigma methodology? So the first it demonstrate here. So the six sigma methodology overall a method that drives. business improvement first the proven tool set for a driving and achieving that is second here and uh, what is the next within any organizations so number 2 uh, and establish and effective best practices establish and maintain quality okay and number 4 here continuous improvement process that focuses an organization on first customer requirements process alignment analytical rigor timely execution defect reduction or defect elimination that is what six sigma methodology is to improve customer requirement process alignment analytical rigor timely execution defect reduction okay on next slide here so six sigma behaviors first are being intentional and courageous first here being a rigorous and disciplined making a data based decisions embracing change and continuous learning process sharing a best practices so that is what the walk the walk principles at the six sigma behavior each player in the six sigma process must be a role model for the six sigma culture as he demonstrated here okay okay now six sigma principles what is six sigma principle here uh, we are going to demonstrate the first here the variation is undesirable and the manifestations of a most a process problem that is the first here second a measurement is a critical for many reasons first to confirm a problems to assess the magnitude of the problems number 3 to determine and verify root causes of the problems number 4 validate the effectiveness of proposed solutions 
Number fifth is to ensure objectivity and to minimize preconceived notions and uncarbureted options. Formal methods and technique ensure consistent application of these principles principally. So, in the last years, the Six Sigma practitioners so called special training in order to meet or complete the Six Sigma principles. Okay. Now, Six Sigma methodologies, the first are lean. What is lean basically? Focus on improving and eliminating waste here. DMAC define, measure, analyze, improve, control. Focus on a problem solving and condition improvement. And number three, DFSS, DMADV, DFSS, design of a Six Sigma, or DMADV, define, made, analyze, and design and verify principles. Focus on creating a new product and process, often required to achieve true Six Sigma capability that customer can see by reducing variability and preventing a problem in the design phase. That is how DFSS and DMADV participate in the Six Sigma methodologies. Okay, now what is Lean basically? Lean is a variant of Six Sigma that incorporates a many of the Japanese quality techniques into an approach that combines a fast effective problem solving Six Sigma quantitative approaches that is demonstrated number one number two in the lean most efforts focus on eliminating waste reducing cycle time and improving productivities that is a two key elements which lean can participate in order to achieve their objective or goal okay what is the definition of the lean basically lean enterprise is based on the premise that anywhere work is being done waste is being generated that is the first what is lean mentioned here the lean enterprise seeks to organize its process to the optimum level through the continued focus on identification and elimination of waste that is as you dem demonstrated here, the bra bra beat. So what is the lean enterprise seeks to organize its process to the optimum level through the continued focus on identification and elimination of the waste. So that is how the Barbara Wheat narrated what is the definition of lean. Now what is DMAC basically? C Sigma is the traditional form that used as a formal phase methodology called DMAC. What is DMAC basically here? So the DMAC basically define, measure, analyze, improve and control mechanisms. Second DMAC process is a problem solving model that gather, analyze and utilize a data to quantitatively lead a practitioner to fast and effective solutions. That is it, as DMAC mentioned here. Number three, however, the DMAC is a more than a just a project life cycle. It is a problem, robust a toolkit, a set for the resources that can be used when things go wrong. That is the number third, as the DMAC mentions. Number four, here, the DMAC Six Sigma can be used to fix a broken process by identifying and resolving problem through the implementation of permanent corrective action and can even optimize and improve existing process. That is very important into process industry as well. Okay. Now, DFS or DMADV. So, what is the DFS DMADV? Design for Six Sigma or define, measure, analyze, design and verify the first instance mentioned here. Okay. So, is that most comprehensive approach to Six Sigma, it is proactively modeled that the builds a quality into process and products from first inceptions to delivery and deployment. That is as demonstrated into DFSS or DMADV. It identifies and prioritizes a critical to customer requirements 
analyzes a factor that can affect quality and introduce variations. That is SAC. So number three, it uses the development or robust model to optimize designs before implementation to minimize impact and maximum result defective preventions. That is very important. So if we want to reduce the variations or defect eliminations. Okay, what is lean history now? No, lean history, it started 1885. Croft production machine, then Horden fit on assembly customizations. So that is first in 1885 here. So highly skilled workforce, low production rates, high cost, which is identified. In 1913, a mass productions are uh, part interchangeability, moving a production line production engineering works don't like to think so what is basically happened here is so in 1913 unskilled labors high production rates low cost persistent quality problems and inflexibility models so in 1955 1990 a Toyota production system workers as a problem solvers worker as a process owner enabled by training upstream quality, minimal inventory, just in a time, eliminate waste, responsive to change. So what is basically happened? Low cost, improving productivity, high quality product. 1993 lean enterprise came in a picture. So lean applied to all function in enterprise value streams, optimization of value delivery to all stakeholder and enterprise in value chains. What will happen? Low cost, improving productivity, high quality product, greater value for the stakeholder. That has happened in first 1885, 1913, 1955, 1990 and 1993. Okay, what is basically Lean Six Sigma? We have discussed basically Lean up plus Six Sigma is equal to Lean Six Sigma. So that is Lean plus Six Sigma which we have discussed in my earlier slide. So that is Lean Six Sigma altogether. Now we are going to discuss key differences of a Lean Six Sigma approaches. So we have two approaches, Lean and second approach a Six Sigma. So for first segment is what is the purpose basically. In purpose, if I use a Lean system, a Lean approach, so we can remove waste. So six sigma will reduce a variation. Number two, focus. So lean will enhance a value stream and uh, it will eliminate the defects on six sigma approach. Number three, approach. Remove a non-value added steps by using a lean. And number three here, same, address a root gases. So that is six sigma. A number four matrix here. So process a lead a time or process cycle efficiency. It will enhance by using a lead. So in uh, six sigma, so what is basically it uh, defect per million opportunities. So it will identify defect per million opportunity DPMOs. So that is how it will improve. Number a fifth here are results. So less a waste improve efficiency by using the lean approach and by using six sigma approach a less variation consistent quality. So that is how lean six sigma adjust to each other. So these are complementing to each other. So that's why we are uh, using a term a lean six sigma approach. Now I am demonstrating here the Six Sigma family methodology, how they are complement to each other. So this is my X axis and this is my Y axis. Okay, now if you can see here on my X axis, it demonstrates risk complexity of the unknowns here. And Y axis, it demonstrated cost of the being wrong to change back redo. If I can see the first term, I am using a lean here. 
So what is lean basically demolisher focused on improving efficiency and eliminating waste. Okay, that is the first item. If I will use a DMAC here, so you can see here my risk also increased and cost will be also increased over here. So in over here I have less cost and less risk here. So what basically DMAC define, may analyze, improve, control, focus on problem solving and continuous improvement process. Okay, if we implement DFSS in the third layer here, so here the risk complexity of the unknown will be little higher and the cost of course here to redo it will be more. So what basically DFF demonstrated, so DFF is designed for Six Sigma or this is also known as a DMADV, define, measure, analyze, design and verify. Focus on creating a new product and process, number one. Number two, often are required to achieve a true success capability that is customer needs or can see by reducing variability and preventing a problem in the design phase. That is how DFSS or DMADV can be used. Okay, so that is how these are three families are complementing to each other. Okay, this is my conclusion slide, what we discussed today. The first uh, we have discussed uh, uh, what is Six Sigma basically methodology or methods here. So second methodologies, principles, uh, what is lean, what is DMAC, define, measure, analyze, improve and control, key differences between Lean and Six Sigma which we discussed, family and methodologies, we have also discussed history of Six Sigma. So thank you very much for your precious time. So on my next slide I am going to give a brief about our Six Sigma strategy. Okay, next topic history of Six Sigma and strategy, I am going to discuss day after tomorrow. Thank you very much for your precious time to make this channel a grand success. Thank you very much again. Please send me your feedback and comments at t.masood.dr at path.edu. Please stay at home, stay safe, stay inspired and stay blessed. Thank you very much again.